Robert Wing weeps for his brother, who died shortly after coming to the U.S., for his future, and for his 80-year-old mother. I'm afraid that I will not be next to her when she is gone. The son of a black GI, Wing arrived in the U.S. with his mother and three siblings in 1984, after the Vietnam War. Now 49 and living in Houston, he never imagined he would be deported back to Vietnam, a country that does not welcome the children of U.S. soldiers. But in 2003, Huynh was convicted for dealing drugs and served a three-year sentence. After his release, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE, detained him for another six months. Nobody told me that committing crimes could get me deported if I'm not naturalized. No one ever told me that. Anyway, I didn't believe that the U.S. government could deport a child of an American like me. Huynh believed he was protected under a 2008 deportation agreement that only allows deportation of Vietnamese who came to the U.S. after 1995. Daniel Crittenbrink is U.S. ambassador to Vietnam. For people who came to the United States before 1995, it means that the agreement currently does not cover them. In March, the U.S. began large-scale roundups of Vietnamese refugees, particularly those with criminal convictions. Huynh was detained by ICE in February 2017 and held for more than a year. I didn't know about the time frame for release. I didn't know if I could stay or if I'd be deported. I just wait in darkness. Huynh's attorney obtained his release March 7, but warned him that he could be detained again at any time. The Trump administration has labeled Vietnam recalcitrant for its unwillingness to accept deportees. So for now, Huynh and other Vietnamese like him live under a cloud. My son cannot be deported. He's American. Look at his father's picture. His father is American. Experts say Huynh is not alone. He's just one of 8,600 Vietnamese ICE considers undesirable aliens, eligible for deportation at any moment. Vũ Nguyễn, VOA News, Houston, Texas.